What's creepy in a horror movie? Graveyards. Yeah, graveyards are something else. They're kind of spooky, don't you think? Oh yeah, they're spooky. And I'm going to talk to you about some of my favorite graveyards in cinema. Yes, the cinema graveyards. <laughs> Hope I didn't scare anybody there. And if I did, so what? Everyone gets scared every once in a while. How do you like my backdrop? Backdrop, what did I call it? Backdrop. Check out, this is a hell of a view here. You can't really see my middle of my new shelves, but you can see the DVDs and of course the Blu-rays up there and some of the Godzilla VHS right there. But we gonna talk about some gra uh, graveyards today, yeah. Now, this is just five movies that I really like, and I like the graveyard scenes in it. And I'm not saying they're the top five of all time or anything. It's just some of my favorites. And yes, I'm not going to talk a whole lot about them because I don't want a 58-minute video. But I do want to talk about a few of them. And then, of course, yeah, I'll have comments. I left out a bunch of them, but oh well. You can't get them all because there's a ton of scary movies. And there's a ton of graveyards in them scary movies. So, let's just talk about these five. First up, one of my favorite Stephen King's movies. <clears throat> yeah, Pet Cemetery. Now that's creepy as hell, especially when the main character digs up his son after he got killed by a tractor trailer and sitting by his grave and uh, hugging him and telling him everything's gonna be all right, he's gonna bring him back. So he could take him up to, you know, where the pet cemetery is and the burial ground and bury him there so he can come back. And then, of course, he comes back later and he really creepy then. That's a, that's a creepy movie, man. And the cemetery, <laughs> digging up somebody and then holding them like that is always creepy to me. And I saw that at the theater. Another one up I also saw at the theater was Friday the 13th part six, the opening scene. Everyone knows that when Jason comes back to life. The hands of Tommy Jarvis, of course, thinks uh, he's just going to burn up Jason as he uh, digs him up in the uh, cemetery there and uh, backfires and brings him back to life by the lightning that strikes twice in one spot. Don't lightning just, what? strikes twice anyway that's one of my favorite uh, Jason movies part six uh, part three and four are real big too but I love the opening scene with the cemetery and everything and the James Bond thing so that's a, that's a pretty cool one also if you're going to talk about cemeteries when I was young I really was freaked out first time I ever saw Phantasm yes the tall man scared the living shit out of me. And not necessarily the graveyard was creepy in that movie. The mausoleum, yeah. Now that stuff right there is creepy. And when I seen that when I was little, afterwards, if I ever drove by one, you know, with my parents and stuff and seen it, it really freaked me out. And I did go into one, you know, a few years later in life and I'm just going around the corner thinking the tall man or one of them balls are going to fly around the corner and nail me in the damn head. So it's always a little creepy there, no matter if it's a small mausoleum or a real big one. I really don't, I don't like them. It's just really creepy. Hmm. Phantasm, though, it's a great series. You've never seen them. You need to check them out. But that first one scared the living shit out of me. Another great one is uh, Return of the Living Dead. I love that movie. It's, it's not really creepy and scary, I don't think. I think it's more comical than anything. But I'm going to go ahead and put it in here because Lene Quigley, of course, gets naked and dances in the acid rain or whatever you want to call that. That is a little creepy in itself, I guess, uh, dancing around and all that mess just... And then the damn, the later on, of course, people start coming up through the grave and shit. So that was kind of probably freaked out little kids, you know, about, about that time when it first came out. But as an adult, I think it's kind of comical. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Yeah, Night of the Living Dead, black and white. It's 
Scared the living shit out of me too when I was a kid. Still kind of creepy in a way. George Romero, got to meet him a few years ago at Scarefest. Rest in peace, just passed away. That was the introduction to the zombie world. You know, he, he, he directed that movie. And it's a great film, and it still hold up, holds up to today. Love that movie. And the graveyard scene at the beginning. You know, it's in the daylight, but the funny thing is, you know, they're just there's a zombie just walks out of nowhere and starts to kill people. And there's really no explanation about it. It just starts, and that's how they start it. Good one, George Romero. Classic. But also like Dawn of the Dead and, and Day of the Dead. The other ones, I don't know about. But Night of the Living Dead, Graveyard Scene at the beginning. Yeah, that's kind of creepy. And it's like, it's got that atmosphere of like being one of them late night movies. Especially when you were young and you could stay up on a Saturday night and watch something like that. Creepy. So that's some creepy graveyard cinema for you. And it's getting closer to Halloween. So I figured to do a little video like this. If you want to, comment below and share me your five favorite uh, graveyard scenes in cinema. Uh, might be some of the same ones I picked. And might be a few more. There's plenty out there to choose from. So comment at the bottom and let me know what you think about these. If you like any of these or... You got many more to tell me about. Write a paragraph. Hell, I don't care. Comment on the Graveyard Cinemas. This is just five of my favorites. And there's plenty more out there. A lot of other notable ones as, I should say, Frankenstein? Yeah, why not? Let's go all the way back to Frankenstein. That's a great one too, right? Till next time.